StubHub, Ticketmaster, where can I get him? This is fair down the first baseline. James traces the paint, loses his hat, speeds into second, and stops right there. A leadoff double in the second inning. Interesting thing about that defense was they played him as a dead pole hitter, despite the fact that James is making a living this year out of going the opposite way. Odor was playing on the third base side of second. This one right down the line, no chance at all for Pence in right field. That ball just caromed off the wall and just a two base hit to lead it off. And Jay pops up a bunt third base side, Forsyth for out number one. McCann gets to third. One and two. There's a line shot slicing toward the left field corner. Long run back for Calhoun. He makes the catch on the warning track. And the run will score after the catch. McCann is home. Skull is retired on a sacrifice fly, his fifth RBI. And it's one to nothing White Sox in the bottom of the second. Heineman takes off. And the first pitch high, the throw down to third. Oh. In time. And Heineman immediately saying, no, 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 no. You got to take a look at that one. And Beasley reacted the exact same way and just instinctively seemed to feel like they had that one. Yeah, it was an attempt at a really quick tag. Looked like watching in full speed that the right leg might have got in. Let's take a look here. Get a look and did that right foot touch the base before the tag went down. It was a quick heart. You see how high, how high it is. You would assume he would have gotten in. That's close. They're going to go ahead and challenge you. That's really close. And this is why a fast tag matters. I, 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 I can't tell. He's taking a couple of looks. Oh. Ooh. So that's not even so. So they're not confirming or saying that they didn't have information. They're saying he was out. <laughs> okay. Ross okay. Weiler saying sure. Adam left center field and this drops down. DeShields in the alleyway has to hustle because Adam certainly is. He's got a leadoff double here in the third and that paid off last time. Tim past Odor. Sox lead two to nothing. Double that lead. Tim Anderson's got a nine game hit streak. Oh, this is oh Moncada hammers this ball. And gone onto the island. Welcome back, Yo Yo. You see, this ball is up in the zone, waist high and destroyed. And Moncada knows he got every bit of it. He knows it's a home run. Then realizing maybe it's going to hit the top of the wall, he takes off, but not necessary. It's a four to nothing lead. He means a whole lot as a table setter. That's why hitting in the two spot is so important for him. James likes this ball up, and it's going to Neptune. Oh, my goodness. Five nothing back to back. 15 and 50 for James McCann. That was a rolling breaking ball that stayed up and went way back. That looks in excess of 425 feet. We'll take another look. This ball doesn't do much. Our Ford home run replay is a bomb. That should come with its own trumpet fanfare and red carpet. So two up two down and that'll bring up Elvis Andrews. This ball well struck. Andrews deep out to left. Gone a home run. So the Rangers get on the board Elvis Andrews. With his 10th home run of the season and that was a no doubter. Now he absolutely crushed that one did Elvis Andrews and we haven't seen many home runs off of lefties. Elvis gets one up in the zone here from Ross Detweiler and we know that Elvis is so strong at the top of the zone. And as you mentioned an absolute no doubter to get the Rangers on the board. Right field fair to the wall. Garcia ditches the hat. He's on his way to third. Larry. Best thing that happened there was that Pence missed the cutoff man. Center field. DeShields won't even have a bid on Garcia. Larry scores on a sack fly. The Sox bring home run number six. One and two. Andrews on the ground. Sanchez. An easy win for the Sox. In the return of Moncada, he homers, and the Sox win the opener in this homestand 6-1. to one.